Hey, welcome to DLive, everybody. On the bench today, we have a vintage Browning R2700A receiver. Problem, it doesn't receive. It lights up and gets hot, but there's no audio. So first, I'll show you the symptom, and then we'll see if we can discover what's causing it. Okay, the receiver is on. You can see the voltage regulator tube lit up. But all we get is a slight hum, no white noise, no receive. And back by the power supply section, something smells hot. So let's kill it and take a look. Now here's the bottom side of the radio. She looks stock. I don't see any signs of past maintenance. But if you look down here, by the power transformer, you see this big dark area. I think this resistor is the one that's getting hot because if you look at this filter cap, this 40 microfarad cap, there is a bunch of white stuff spewing out of the positive end. My guess is that cap's bad. They're probably all bad, but let's change that 40 microfarad cap and see if it springs to life. All right, there is Mr. Crustola removed. New caps installed. I still have no receive, but when I prod around in here, there is signs of life. My guess, a bad tube. Let's check those and see if we get lucky. Okay, I checked the tubes. They tested okay. Not great, but usable. So obviously we have other circuitry issues. Time to dive in deeper. Okay, I ended up replacing a couple resistors that were baked, and I found the reason why. Somebody decided to modify the radio, and on pin 7 of the 6BA6s, they bypassed the 100 ohm cathode resistors causing excessive current to flow through the IF system. I've been troubleshooting this radio for a little bit and unfortunately I discovered the problem. After it warms up while I heard a arcing noise if you look right there. You can see arcing inside of the IF can. So that is why it has no receive.